did. Okay. Now it's rolling. All right. Well, the Albert Hart was the first instrument I learned to play. Uh, I can't remember. I guess my aunt maybe had one, and her daughter played it. And it was one of the newer types. This is the old type, the black harps. And uh, I would be around over there, and he kind of caught my ear. And I guess I was probably maybe 14 or 15 when I first kind of got exposed to some of that stuff. And when I was about 16, I, I bought one off a, a lady. And up on the parkway is where the lady lived. And uh, she, she was real old and just kind of wanted to get rid of it. And I gave her $35 for it. <laughs> Of course, there's a lot of money back in, you know. Yeah. And uh, I kind of got started learning to play, and my mom and my dad both played one, but we never had one in our house. And they had been so long since they'd messed with one, you know, but after a little bit, they kind of got to where they could play the tunes that they remember playing. And I just, you know, that was, you know, a, a start on the outer heart for me. And then, my cousin, well, he's actually my second cousin, had one. And and I learned, you know, a few tunes, you know, but but it was mostly just the old tunes that I, you know, that everybody's exposed to, like the old church hymns or, you know, some of the Carter stuff, but. Uh, so did your family play it sitting on their lap like this? They did. They okay. Everybody that, that, that played the altar harp when I started learning to play, played it this way. I can play it up in my, my arm. It, it makes all the notes backwards because mm -hmm. when you get it up here, it, the notes is backwards on it, but it ain't no problem. I can still yeah. let him get my, my chords right, but you don't get those bottom strings down here as good because you can't get to them. You actually mm -hmm. can't get to, oh, yeah, you know, maybe it. five or six of those strings there, you can't even get to. Maybe that's you know, because the chord bars are slid? Yeah. Or, uh, I have known some people to take these these bars off and move it completely forward, mm -hmm. and then you can get you know you you add this much space to right. it, you know then you can get it like that, but then you can't play it down here. Yeah. But the ones that uh, the people has got to make it, like John Hollingsworth, for instance, he he puts a he puts the bars down here, but then he puts a little offset in it, you know, and it makes it where you can get to all of those strings yeah. up there. It makes it, you know, real easy and simple to, to do, but, you know, I, for me, I, it's more comfortable to play it in my lap like, yeah. like the old ones was designed to play. Well, I'll, play uh, I'll play a little bit of a Sea of Galilee. Yeah. tunes that they, you know, that they play so many of. They, they, they play quite a few hymns, uh, you know, just over the years that they've done all them recordings. I mm -hmm. guess they played a lot of hymns and, you know, about all the recording sessions, but, but, uh, so your picks, I notice you use on your middle finger and your ring finger. I do. Uh, it seems I can put a pick on this finger and can use it. 
but it seems like that these fingers is more, more, I can get more racket out of the, yeah. the heart. And for years I used metal picks. Well, the finger picks I did, but they would get, they would get real sharp on the edges and I would, and they would bend up more. And sometimes I, they get hung under the strings. Oh, yeah. So I got to using the, the plastic picks or the finger picks. And it seemed like that works a little better. They get war, but I can replace them, you know, when they when they do. But everybody played the wild wood flowers. You know, yeah. I don't care what kind of instrument you had. They, Most people don't play as hard as I do. And the new harps that's laminated seem like they just, they heavier and they don't have the sound in them like these old harps do. I know a lot of these old harps get all dilapidated and sunk in and, you know, over the years, but they, this one's in just a little bit under there, mm -hmm. but it still sounds good and, and still plays good. But I work on them, you know, to make them you know, the bars get kind of out of whack and get where they don't get, get all the strings good, but I'll take them out and work on them, you know. But these is the same, the harps that I've got, it's got the same strings on it unless one has broken and I've replaced it as they had on them when they was new. They tarnished and rusty sometimes when I get them, but I'll just, uh, I'll just rub the rust off of them, mm -hmm. you know. It, you know, you don't, you know, them things, they don't need to be changed unless you just break one, it seems like. They got three three major chords on them. You got your G, and your C, and your F. And then they got a few of the minors and, and stuff up on the top. But uh, when you're playing these old harps, that's just the three major chords. Uh, they do make a, this is a 12 bar, they make a 15 bar. So you still got your major B chords that you can play in, but a lot of them tunes sounds really good on F chord. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's where you start now here. You know, it, uh, there's another old tune that the server chord played. There's not many videos of server chord about three maybe or so. Uh, she came to the, maybe it was the first Memorial Day Festival at the Carter Fold. Mm -hmm. They flew into California and they was up there singing and playing. And she, she her and mother maybe all of them did uh, gathering seashells by the seashore. Uh, it, it's just a pretty tune to play, but it's really pretty if anybody sang it. So, Kind of a complicated song to keep all them words in your head. 